guys, do you have pets? Do you love them? Do you want to monetize your love for pets into a small scale business that earns you a part time income, something like thousand dollars a month or so? So if you are known to whip up some homemade yummy meals for your furry friend, consider turning your skills and your passion of having a pet into a profitable dog treat business. And in this video, we will talk everything about starting a dog treat business from home and earning money. So let's get started. Now, after this video, you can start your own small business from home and do what you like, that is whip up dog treats for your furry friends. For those of you who are new to this channel, I am Chavi, owner of a five-figure work from home blog. We make videos each and every week about making money and working from home. So do take a moment and hit that red icon below and subscribe to my channel. The first thing that I want to cover is the potential earning of this small business idea. So I went on Google and researched and came across this inspiring story on starterstory.com. So this is the first story that I came across um, on how we started a $16,000 monthly revenue CBD drug treat company by Michael Benatar. So these guys started and co-founded Dope Dog and their mission is to make dogs happy. So you can read this story about how they started and how they uh, sell dog treats and make a revenue of $16,000 per month. Similarly, there is this couple who started a healthy dog treat business called Treats Happen. And uh, their flagship product is Beef Lung Dog Treats uh, for which the dogs go crazy. According to them, they are making $15,000 per month right now, but they are also expecting that to consistently double by the end of the year um, when they launch their own branding and increase their distribution, etc. There are only two founders and their revenue is $15,000. Similarly, I also found a story on Forbes that talks about a selling dog treat um, business that puts a couple on track for $1 million in revenue. The brand that they have is Pet Honesty. It is by Ben and Camille. You can check it out. I will link. I will put the link to all of these stories in the description box below. So as you can see that dog treat business is actually a very profitable venture. Even if you don't go all out and make millions of dollars with this business from home, you can always start and make a part time income and cater to your neighborhood, cater to the city and your friends and relatives who are in love with their pets and in love with their dogs. It is, it is extremely profitable because people have a lot of pets. They want to care about them as, a, as their own babies. And the options out there are very, very few. The options of getting healthy food for their pets is very few. So encash on that, encash on this opportunity and start your own dog treat business from home and start making money. Now let's get started on how to do this step by step. The first step should be to decide what kind or what type of dog treats you want to offer to the public. Now it could be anything, it could be baked goods, cooked daily meals, etc. While deciding what you offer in your dog treat business from home, make sure that there is enough demand for that product. Now the best way is to ask yourself and your parents if you or they would be interested in buying those treats or that home cooked meals. Now, once you have decided what treat or home cooked meal you need to offer, you need to find out a few creative, memorable and relevant names for your dog treat business. Now, do some research online or contact the Chamber of Commerce in your area to find out how to register your dog treat business. And this is going to be your next step. Now, this differs from state to state. So make sure that you are doing enough research on the laws that are required to be complied with in your state. Register one of the names that you have selected and you will also need to determine whether you need licenses or permits to operate your business and if you do, then you need to make sure to obtain them. Now your next step, that is step four, is once all these laws are complied with, you should contact an insurance agent to determine which type of insurance would you require for your dog treat business. Now, in my opinion, you should at least get a general liability insurance and a home business insurance if you plan to operate your dog treat business from home, but it would again differ from country to country and state to state, so do your own research. Now, your next step should be to create a logo, business cards, and a simple website 
and maybe a brochure for your dog treat business. Now you can either do it yourself or you can hire them, hire this work out. Make sure that your website is very clear on how to contact you and how to place orders because that is going to be the most important thing. Now your step six is going to be deciding on the recipes that you want to cook or bake. Ensure that your recipes include ingredients that are healthy such as fruits, vegetables, peanut butter, honey, whole wheat flour, eggs, rice, etc, etc and other ingredients that are known to be safe for dogs or any other pet that you are aiming to target. Once everything is set up, your step seven is going to purchase supplies and equipment, including mixing bowls, baking dishes, cooking bowls, measuring cups, biscuit molds, for example, etc. Selecting containers, boxes, bags and ribbons to package your finished product and to brand it. Now your step eight is going to get some clients. I suggest you create some sample dog treats, package them and put a business card in each one of them and start visiting pet stores, pet hotels, groomers, pet photographers, obedience coaches, pet boutiques, bakeries, etc. to see if you can leave your samples in the, in the stores for their customers to check out. Now you can also market it to your friends, families and local farmer markets to start with. And oh, before I forget that, there is no previous baking or cooking experience required or needed and with a little bit of practice, you will be able to bake and package top treats like you have seen professionals do or like you've seen in professional stores now how because i have something free for you so this woman has a free training for you to take and jump start your dog treat business from home in this workshop by her you will learn how and why kirsten started a diva dog bakery how she went from making her first 20 dollars to over thousand dollars in a month with her dog treat business the best places to sell your homemade dog treats offline and online, marketing tactics to boost sales and profit margins, how to source ingredients and packaging materials at the cheapest cost, a special and a limited time offer for a full-fledged course on how to start a dog treat business and make it profitable right from the start. Now the link to this free workshop is going to be the first link in the description box below so go check it out and watch that training because she's amazing and she has some amazing nuggets to share on how to start a dog treat business and make it profitable. Let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons of starting a dog treat bakery business from home and we are going to be starting with the pros. Now the first pro is that you can run your business entirely from home which is great right? The startup costs are low. Dog treat bakeries have the potential to do well when the products are sold online as well as offline. Now the target market is quite varied including online pet stores, boutique stores, grooming stores, wet offices, daycares etc. The ones we already talked about. You can also get a very cre you can also get very creative in developing treats for dogs that people are going to love. Now there are franchise opportunities available as well if you have the money to invest. Now let's talk about a, a few cons that I have in my mind about this. Some of the potential challenges that you may face if you start a dog treat bakery includes that gourmet pet treats are not in demand in all the areas so it will depend upon where your target market lives. There is a lot of laws to be complied with depending upon your state. You must follow specific regulations for processing homemade dog treats and getting a license. There can be significant legal issues if the treats are not produced according to the regulations. You'll have to research what local permits are needed and get them. Now the startup costs can be expensive if you go to the franchisee route. Now you will also need a kitchen area for baking, baking equipment and supplies which can mean a little bit of investment in the start. You will need to test your recipes prior to selling. That means there is a lot of work involved. Now that is it for today. This is all about dog treat business from home. So grab the training, learn the basics and start making money from home with a small business idea of having a dog treat bakery. If you're looking for more options about working from home, you can see two videos on the screen right now. So click on them and get started with more business ideas and knowing everything that you need to know about working from home. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red icon below. Bye-bye.